Hello, my name is Juana Puyo. I teach English at school number 66 in Bucharest. Today, I would like to invite you to revisit two of the most beautiful fairy tales of your childhood. We're focusing on vocabulary, describing places, furniture, rooms of the house. Grammar. There is, there are, some, any, this, these, that, those. We will be reading a small part from the wonderful Wizard of Oz. We will be listening to a sequence from Beauty and the Beast. And we will be describing furniture. Are you ready? Let's start. Look at the pictures and say what furniture related word they show. This is a fireplace. This is an armchair. Here are some curtains. This is a blanket. Here's a wardrobe. Look at this beautiful balcony. And here is the dining room. Wow, that is a very nice library. And look at this cute cushion. These are bookshelves. Here's the mirror, the special mirror, the magic mirror. And look at this furious stove. This is a broom. All right, nicely done. I hope you enjoyed the pictures. Here's how we use there is and there are. This is the affirmative form. And for the singular, we use there is, or the short version, there's. And for the plural, we use there are. Let's look at some examples. For there is, Beauty and the Beast is a fairy tale. There is a princess in it. For there are, there are enchanted characters too. Now let's have a look at some of the unfamiliar words we used. Fairy tale. This is a story involving fantastic forces and beings, such as fairies and wizards. Look at the example. I enjoyed the fairy tale The Little Mermaid. Enchanted. It means placed under, or as if under, a magic spell. Like when we have the expression an enchanted forest or an enchanted island. And here is your task. Fill in the gaps with there is or there are. The first sentence is Two windows in Beauty's bedroom. Number two. An enchanted castle in the woods. Three. A magic mirror in one of the rooms. Let's have a look at the answers. There are two windows in Beauty's bedroom. Because we have a plural here, windows is in the plural. 
there is an enchanted castle in the woods because castle is in the singular. There is a magic mirror in one of the rooms. We use there is because mirror is in the singular. A mirror, two mirrors. Now let's remember when we use this, these, that, those. First of all, we have to pay attention to the form, if it's singular or plural. Then we have to know if the object or objects are near or far. We use this when we have a singular object that is near. This candlestick is enchanted. We use these when we have two or more objects in the plural that are near. These candlesticks are dancing in the hallway. We use that when we have an object in the singular that is far. That clock is the beast's butler. And we use those when we have two or more objects that are far. And in the plural, those teacups are siblings. Now let's look at some of the unfamiliar word. Butler. This is the chief male servant of a household who has charge of other employees, receives guests, directs the serving of meals, and performs various personal services. Here is an example. According to formal royal butler Paul Burrell, Harry was the only member of the royal family who could ever get away with tricking Queen Elizabeth. Sibling one of two or more individuals having one common parent. She's had to worry about her two youngest siblings, both still in high school. And here's your task. Fill in the gaps with this, that, these, those. One. Over here is a chair and over there is a desk. Over there are sofas and over here are coffee tables. Over here are books and over here is a notebook. Let's have a look at the answers. This over here is a chair and that over there is a desk. Those over there are sofas and these over here are coffee tables. Why did we use those in the second sentence? Because we have over there, so that means that we have a, a sofas to objects that are in the plural and that are there, they are far, while the coffee tables are over here, so that means that they are near. We use these. These over here are books and this over here is a notebook. Books is in the plural, so, and, and it's near, so we use these. And a notebook is in the singular and it's here, so we use this. Do you remember when we use some and when we use any? Well, we use some in the affirmative and we use any in the negative and in the interrogative. Here are some examples. There are some witches in the wonderful Wizard of Oz. There aren't any wardrobe characters in this story. 
are there any wizards in this story? And let's see what these words mean. A witch is a woman who is supposed to have evil or wicked magical powers. For example, witches in black robes and pointed hats. A wizard is a person who performs magic or witchcraft. For example, an example of a wizard is the character Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings. And here is your task. Fill in the gaps with some and any. 1. There are leaves in the garden that turn into people. 2. There aren't enchanted objects in the bathroom. 3. Are there people turned into objects here? Let's have a look at the answers. 1. There are some leaves in the garden that turn into people. Here we used some because we have an affirmative. There are is in the affirmative. 2. There aren't any enchanted objects in the bathroom. Here we have any because the sentence is in the negative. There aren't. 3. Are there any people turned into objects in Beauty and the Beast? Here we use any because we have a sentence in the interrogative. For your next task, I'd like you to read the paragraph and answer these questions. 1. Why isn't Kansas a beautiful place? 2. Why is the house lifted into the air? 3. Why is everything beautiful in the place where Dorothy and Toto land? Check if you were right or wrong. 1. Why isn't Kansas a beautiful place? Kansas isn't a beautiful place because everything is gray. The ground is gray. The houses are gray. And even the people look gray. 2. Why is the house lifted into the air? The house is lifted into the air because there is a storm outside and the wind lifts the house into the air. 3. Why is everything beautiful in the place where Dorothy and Toto land? Everything is beautiful in the place where they land because the sun is shining. Beautiful birds are singing in the trees and there are pretty flowers everywhere. Now I'd like you to listen to the following sequence from Beauty and the Beast and answer these questions. What does Beauty see in the first room she finds in the castle? What does Beauty see in the second room she finds in the castle? What does Beauty see in the third room she finds in the castle? While looking for the prince, she found a room full of toys and stuffed animals which spoke to her and danced with her. In the next room, musical instruments played themselves. The third room she entered was bright, full of candles, lamps and chandeliers. A beautiful fur cape flew in front of her. She took it and put it round her shoulders. 
Now let's listen to the answers. What does Beauty see in the first room she finds in the castle? In the first room she finds in the castle, she sees toys and stuffed animals. What does Beauty see in the second room she finds in the castle? In the second room she finds in the castle, Beauty sees musical instruments that play themselves. What does Beauty see in the third room she finds in the castle? The third room she enters is full of candles, lamps and chandeliers. There is a beautiful 4K there too. In Beauty and the Beast, teacups, candlesticks and brooms turn into people when Beauty breaks the spell. Today you have got magic powers. You can turn into a fairy tale character or any piece of furniture you want and write a riddle about yourself. Give details regarding what you look like and what you are used at. Now let's listen to these guys and their riddles. Hi! I'm small, smart, and funny. I teach people useful and interesting things. Come on, it's easy to figure out. Okay, okay. You wanna know more? Well, in the library we form a huge and intelligent family. When one of us is bought, we cry. What am I? Well, I'm a book. I strike each hour, but don't forget, you must not strike me, my good friends. What am I? I am the clock. I am big and long. My color is black. People hold my remote and start me. I am so smart and interactive. I have a lot of brothers and sisters. What am I? I am a TV. I am a puzzle with six faces. It might be hard, it might be easy solving me, but just make me have the same color on each face and I'll be happy. What am I? A Rubik cube. Earring with handle. Nobody's wearing me, but it still clings to me. At the front door. Who am I? The lock. I am little and chipped. I help you drink your tea. I have a family like you, a mother and a sister. My mommy is chubby and kind, and my sister is joyful and small. What am I? I am chipped the tea. I am big and beautiful. People go to me to touch my keys and used to sing beautiful songs. I am always serious. I have white keys and black keys. Together they form a set. What am I? A piano. I would like to thank you for your participation today and remind you that magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Bye-bye for now! Do you believe in fairy tales? I do. I know a place where fairy tales come true. Just close your drowsy eyes, my dear, and the genie will appear. He'll take you by the hand. And
and through a star-embroidered sky on a carpet you will fly and you'll awake in fairyland a prince will ride upon the sea that's true he'll say fair lady be my queen oh please do in this beautiful land of laughter you'll live happily ever after if you believe that fairy tales come true 